Okay, folks. You just can't make this stuff up. You just can't. You just can't. <laughs> there we go. Uh, being raised about an AIDS memorial planned for downtown Palm Springs. Right now, the sculpture is planned to look like this. These pictures you're seeing here. And some people don't like it. News Channel 3's Jake Rossi live in studio with more on the controversy and possible changes in response to those concerns. Jake. And John, it is a nine-foot sculpture planned for a Palm Springs park meant to remember lives lost to HIV. Okay. Look at this sculpture. Now remember, it's for an AIDS memorial. It looks like a giant anal. <laughs> it's a giant anal. I, I'm a loss for words. <laughs> and they're raising funds for this? Okay, here we go and AIDS, but the design doesn't resonate with every... Now, this post uh, was uh, 10 days ago of this news feed out of Florida. It was 10 days ago. Everyone, in fact, some call it inappropriate, and the committee in charge says they are now listening. It's the proposed AIDS memorial sculpture, raising hundreds of thousands of dollars in the community. My God, hundreds of thousands of dollars. From the community? I doubt it that the community really wants a big ass in the middle of their park surrounded by homeless people. And stirring up controversy over its shape. <laughs> the round limestone statue with concentric carved circles meant to represent the diverse community impacted by AIDS. It was meant to represent? Okay. It's eye level opening signifying connection, reflection, and hope but it's not seen by everyone that way. Some saying it's too abstract. It's really strained. I mean, it's, this is almost like a piece of art looking for a purpose instead of the other way around. It could be about anything. And as a consequence, it's kind of about nothing. It could be about anything. So if it's an AIDS memorial and for Pete's sake, why do you need an AIDS memorial? I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's tragic if somebody gets AIDS, but I, I don't know. I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't understand it. Thing. There's also the view that it too closely resembles other things. You hear it called the donut all the time. Um, you hear it called the word can't say on camera all the time. For some on social. Why can't you say it? It looks like ass. Just say it because that's what it looks like media and beyond the design resembles an inappropriate body part on the rear end the backside of the proposed memorial looks like um, a graphic depiction of the backside of human being the memorial is privately raising funding to put it up at a nine foot tall scale in the downtown park near the maryland statue. oh my god a nine foot ass there you go there you go Surrounded by beautiful, beautiful palm trees. <laughs> it's expected price tag in the range of $500,000. The cons What? $500,000? Oh my goodness. CERN? that it could become the butt of a joke. <laughs> I can just visualize the whole slew of potential social media posts making fun of something that is so important to our community. In a letter to community members... Why is it so important to that community? I mean, who's claiming to be representing the community? I mean, I'm part of a community. I'm sure you good folks out there are part of your community. Did somebody go around and... Hey, we want a big ass in the park. Are you down with it? You want to give five, ten bucks, whatever the case may be? I mean, who, who in the community would want this? Just asking the questions, that's all. Members the AIDS Memorial Task Force, writing it is incorporating feedback they've received and working through the design revision process. But questions persist. I'd like to see the feedback. 
about why the community wasn't included sooner. I don't remember ever seeing any outreach over the last couple of years. Everyone seems to be shocked that no one seemed to be consulted. This has become a laughing stock. Because it looks like what it looks like, you know, it's become a joke. And that's the last thing we want. Now, the task force says that they have gotten public input, but asked today to clarify when and by whom they did not answer. They say the next iteration of the revised design will be shared with the community later this year. Well, so they say they're going to share their new design if they have one with the community. And again, who's the community? Is it all the surrounding people that live in the suburbs? Do they really want this? I'd, I'd like to see some tangible evidence of that. Live in studio, Jake Gracia, News Channel 3. Let's take a look at some of the comments, because that, that, that's always fun. That's always fun. Look. <laughs> oh, man. 1,000 points for the butt of the joke. Let's see, 500K for a sculpture in a park full of homeless people. You can't make this stuff up. What a unique design. <laughs> the dozens of every space to racial cracks on the obser observation area facing the side definitely makes it look like fractured butthole. <laughs> Oh man, I mean, wouldn't I? Why didn't they interview? The, who's the guy that designed this? Because that's not in the park. That was just a like a a render, probably a computer generated idea of what it would be in what the surrounding area of the park, right? To give them an idea, right? Kind of thing. <laughs> I, I'd like to know who who made this up. I mean, who designed that? Art imitates life. That's just too much. Uh, how fitting for proper reflection on, on cause and effect. Wow. Let's see. The response is... Uh, <laughs> fitting is the operative word. Wow. <laughs> he said very appropriate. He approves. Can we agree that this, this is funny? Yeah. I mean, the, these comments are funny. Wow. Wow, that's just crazy. Look at this one. The fact that they tore down actual memorial statues, but this is totally okay. That's true. That's true. But anyway, I just thought uh, when we start building uh, genital statues and idols in city squares is when we truly regress beyond salvation. I guess. Okay. Okay. This guy says, um, I'm never eating a donut again. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this person's dying laughing. I mean, all the comments. So th this is what I meant by my statement is like, who wanted this in their community? And the majority of this is like, this is a joke. This is, this is ridiculous. But again, why, why would you... Why would you why would you want that? Why would you want that in your park and your community? But anyway, there's some serious thoughts for the day right there, guys. And uh I just found it so funny. Um I had gotten a phone call and they're like, Do you know about this? And I'm like, No. And apparently there's been other memorials trying to raise money in other parts of the country for for AIDS uh, memorials, they made some quilt, and then other places are trying to build structures like this. I, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't know why this is going on, but anyway, there you have it. There you go. That's that is what is happening. So, thank you so much. Like and subscribe, and have a wonderful day. <laughs>